Okay, we're back in ZBrush. And what we're going to do this time is make another piece of clothing. It's actually going to be a piece of armor. And it's not going to be that difficult, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to increase the density of our mesh on this one. So I'm going to turn off the pants. Be sure we have that selected and we can clear our mask. Go into geometry. And I'm just going to divide this one time. You can see now we're on two subdivisions. Now I'm just going to do this the easy way. Come in here and draw it out like we did the pants. Something like that. Again, we're not so concerned right now with poly count or making it look perfect. Just basically showing you how to do it. And of course what we're going to do now is go back to Subtool and Extract and Accept. Now we we'll go to Symmetry. Make sure our we've turned down our intensity a bit and just kind of smooth out the top and the bottom a little. It's not going to be real smooth with the way we're doing it this quickly. And that's good enough for right now. We'll just leave that like that. Now we've got this piece made. There's nothing to it. We could have put straps in here. There are several things we could have done. So what are we going to do next? Well, we're going to export, of course. And we're going to call this, I'm going to call this top. We could have also put a shirt under here. And we might, we might even do that. But now we've got that exported. So let's go ahead and go over to... Studio Max, same model, import, top, same thing as in part one, if you're not following just go back, okay, there's our top, and we're just going to do the same thing, come in with skin wrap, add the previously skin skeleton then convert to skin and delete the skin wrap now file export you notice over here it says top too if you want to change the name of this this is where you change it top I'll get it right here in a minute Now let's go through the same thing it did in the first part. Get that done and then we'll be ready to take it into Character Creator and see if we got to do any work. Because sometimes these tops can be problematic too. So, let's go back to Character Creator. File. Import. You can save those pants out if you wanted to. Top. Go get our key. And now if it didn't work, some of it will be plastered down to the floor because the skin didn't work. Okay, now this is another thing to show you too. You notice we have uh, cloth one and two on top and pants. Let's see what happens if we go to one on both. Okay, conflicting collision layer settings. So we just go to two or one of these other numbers. Now it will process it. Let's see if this actually worked. Yeah, it looks like it did with no problem. Now, like I said, you'd want to make it a lot cleaner and things like that. But while we're in here, let's see how it calibrates. Oh, yeah. That's not too bad. Now, of course, we want to go back and and actually uh, modify this as far as pushing it out a little bit. Well, I was talking about earlier, if we wanted to go in and make an undershirt, you just come in and underline underneath it and just make it thinner and export it out. But you would change the layer of it. That's where you'd have one, two, three instead of just one and two. But we're not going to go ahead and do that right now because this shows you what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and let's bump this over into iCloud just to see how it looks 
There we are. Go get my motion. And there you have it. Now you could also come in here with a belt, a sash, or anything like that and put it around the midriff. Or just make the edges better. Just take more time. So anyway, that's pretty much how that works. On the next one, we'll come back and we'll take a look at making just a, a few more pieces of armor. Like I said, this was a top. You can make this into armor actually just by changing just by changing the texture on it. And we're not even doing anything fancy here. I'm just going to get... And there, as you can see, you can have like armor or you could just make it a cloth top something like that next we'll go in and take a look at making a helmet